for a song made. A song is a song or a poem or a religious hymn where God get God get the glory, the honor, and the praise. Yes. And David wrote this song. How many have heard the word "The Lord is my shepherd"? Was a very famous song out about so many years ago. But David wrote this song, and when David said, "The Lord is my shepherd," he knew exactly what he was talking about. And on Tuesday night, missionary Brinson gave us the definition of a shepherd. Mm -hmm. What is a shepherd? What do you think a shepherd is? What is a shepherd? A savior. A savior. All right. I like that. What is a shepherd? A person that leads his folks. A person that leads his sheep. Amen. Right. And David watched his father's sheep That's many right. nights. And he was a young man. He was a young boy. What do you know about David? What do you know about David? Why don't you come on, Tim? What do you know about David? What do you know about David? He's a shepherd. Other than being a shepherd. Hey, Cal, hey. What is this? What do you know about David at the sling shop? He fought through. He fought who? And kill two. Goliath. Goliath. Amen. 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 And, and not only did he kill Goliath, while David was watching his sheep at night, he used it or during the day. He used this to get to kill the wolf. And on the natural side, uh, the wolf wants to eat the what? The sheep. And I'll put this the wolf on the spiritual side. Yeah. Yeah. The devil. He wants to get to the sheep. But David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And like Tia said, uh, the shepherd lead the sheep. And there's a difference between sheep and goats. Mm -hmm. If you want to get up, stand up, sheep. And just go and walk in there. Uh, you follow me. Just follow me. And maybe you go astray. My little foot on here, I can reach back. And just pull you and bring you back to me. Now with goats, they will not follow. So you have to drive them. You have to push them. And the difference between a goat, a goat is always good. And sometimes, have a seat. Sometimes the sheep can pick up the characteristics of a goat. Mom may say, get ready for sunshine band rehearsal. But mom, I want to stay home. Mom may say, keep your hands to yourself. But mom, it wasn't me. See, a goat is always buddy. But a sheep will always say, yes, ma'am. How many want to be a sheep of Jesus' fold? Amen. To be a sheep of Jesus' fold, you must obey. It starts at home. Your mom, your dad, your grandparents, or something like a shepherd. Now there's a difference between the shepherd and the what you call the hiring. It's something like a substitute teacher, or something like a. Um, I can recall in my years of teaching, uh, I guess about the 25th year uh, in my teaching experience, this parent came up to the school because one of the children had uh, tried to put her door down. Said her tennis shoes came from the Goodwill. So when the mom came up there, she wanted to jump on the child. And before I knew it, she came to the classroom, before I knew she was just cursing going on, it, and the child was really frightened. I said, Lord, what did I do? So what I did, I got in between. And I told the mother that parent, in order to get to this child, you must come through me first. Now, a substitute teacher would have said that because of those that was in her class. But I was ready. No, I wasn't going to fight. No, I was going to fight. The only fight I would fight is a good fight of faith. And Eve, while I was talking, I was praying. And after she uh, kind of condescended, I told her, honey, you don't want nobody to do this to your child. And to make a long story short, that part became one of my best supporters. 
She was the one that went and said that that lady cared for the, for the children. And that's how Jesus is. And, and Jesus, and the shepherd will lead his sheep to good pastures. What do sheep eat? They, they eat grass and they need water. And sheep are kind of, they're kind of scary at times. How many get the six flags? And you go on that water slide. If you put a sheep there and the water is splashing up, that sheep's got to get afraid. They get scary. And sometimes you get scary at home when it's thundering and lightning, right? And when it's thundering like that, you jump on your way. Just tonight, but forever and always.